so much going on in it ourselves, when somebody speak to us, we snap. We lock the door off, hey, amen? We don't have no peace in ourselves. And we don't, with, with no Jesus, no peace. What you said? Ah, I didn't really say that. I said, no Jesus, no peace, hey, amen? I said, if you ain't got no peace, if you ain't got no Jesus in the world, you ain't got no peace. And if you hadn't bowed down and, and received Jesus Christ, your prayer, you said, I done prayed. Yeah, but you prayed with your mouth. But I'm talking about with your heart. He said, if you confess the Lord out of your mouth, number one, if you don't confess the Lord out of your mouth, you don't stop lying. What you say? Hello, somebody. If you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, your trust, you ain't scared to tell the truth because your trust is not in yourself. Your trust is in the power of God to raise Jesus from the dead, and that same power will raise you from the dead. Amen? And there is no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus. Hello, somebody. Because once God raised me up from the dead, and when I'm dead, I'm out of Christ Jesus in the sin. When I'm raised from the dead, I'm out of sin and into Christ Jesus. And there is no condemnation to those that are there in the spirit. Hell, somebody. I'm just saying, amen. I thank the Lord before I was telling them lies because I was being led of the spirit of this world, and that's the spirit of conformed, amen. I was conformed to the way things that go down here. I was conformed to the knowledge of the, that the people use down here. But when I seen Jesus, when I was born again, when I received him as my personal savior, I was transformed to the renewal of my mind. My wisdom is no longer earthly, but heavenly, amen. I seek the things that's above and not the things that's here on earth. I seek, I seek forgiveness of God before I seek anything. Hello, somebody. And once I receive ordination from God, then I'm all right. Hello, somebody. Amen. But if I don't get it from God, I really hadn't got it. Amen. All good and perfect gifts come from the Father. Oh, y'all don't hear me. You got that old weird gift, but it ain't perfect. What you said? I got mine for the Father of Light from above. I ain't trouble about it. You let the devil fool you with that mess. Uh, I'm not under works. I didn't receive what I received by the works. Amen. I received it by faith, but that faith is Jesus. Hello, somebody. And that faith remained. Hello, somebody. And the seed remained because my seed remained by faith and not by work. It's not considered on what I do, whether it's good or bad, because all of that is work. It's either good works or bad work. And y'all, you better tell the devil to back up on me. Uh, you better tell that devil to back up. Hello, somebody. Because I know that seeing that the law came by Moses, hello somebody, and seeing working through the occasion of the good law, the seeing man, grace and truth came by Jesus Christ, and that same seeing is trying to come up with the same law to deceive believers that they'll go back out of what you say by faith or by works, and if you say by faith, who will has to be with you? I'm gonna come on here. Uh, we are talking about the apostle doctrine now. I'm not talking about that mess that you up. Now, hello, somebody. That, 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 that mess that they preach it everywhere. That set free mess. I'm talking about made free by the blood of the Lamb. I'm talking about the blood running through my veins. I'm talking about when the angel passed by and see the blood in me. Hello, somebody. Not just on me, but in me. Hello, somebody. And that's the blood that I have. Hello, somebody. You went to dialysis and they done gave you new blood. You better be done with the Jesus. Hello, somebody. Even down here on the earth, they'll change the blood. Hello, somebody. You better have the right blood in you. Hello, somebody. Ain't nothing but the blood. The reason that you in the condition you in is because the blood is running through your veins. It's not the right blood. And if the right blood is running through your veins, you better come on and desire to send some milk and get out of them demons. Hello, somebody. This resurrection to the house of prayer, where the truth is told, amen. You better come on and learn that you can fly. Anytime you get ready, you better stop walking around here crawling. And hello, somebody. I thank the Lord. Amen. You ain't got the kingdom in this world. You better look to him. You better look up to the hill from which covered your help. You better start designing the things from above and not the things here on earth. You try to get you a car, you better get blessed. You get blessed, you're going to have. And ain't but one way you're going to get blessed. You got to get that. You got to get your phone right. Hello, somebody, amen. You got that old phone that you can't call from a city to city and takes every now and then. You better be able to call overseas. You better be able to call overseas or you in heaven. See, there's a sea between. There's a filament between the heaven and the earth. Y'all don't hear me. You better make a long. 
Uh, if your cell phone ain't making the right call, you better carry it in the prayer room. I get ready to go in the prayer room. I take my cell phone and leave it out there. You don't need all that static in there. The devil don't need to be listening when I'm talking to God. Hello, hello, hello somebody. I'm just saying, amen. You got to hello somebody. If you bless, you bless. If you bless, you got to be blessed and stay blessed because that hello somebody. Uh, he, he said, all these blessings are come upon you. Hello, somebody. But if you fail to hearken up to all y'all on him, to you, you see the God this earth for dull your head. You got to hear the word of God. The Bible says faith come by hearing. Hello, somebody. You can hear everything. You can hear everybody. But when the man of God says something to you, it's offensive. You better check your phone line. I be mean, somebody that tapped off of your phone line. I be mean, somebody got you fooled. I be mean, somebody got you to see it. I said, I, I said, I guarantee you that that that. That, that, that whoever that is receiving you can't get you nowhere. I guarantee you, you'll bust hell wide on this and that drunk. Hello, somebody. I thank the Lord. Amen. But when you get connected on the right, what you said, hello, somebody. If your video keeps starting and stopping, you better get you more power off in there. You better get hooked up to the right thing. Hello, somebody, so you can sit there and enjoy it. Hello, somebody, so you can rewind when you need to rewind and fast forward when you need to. Hello, somebody. I'm talking about getting connected now. I'm talking about getting, I ain't talking about calling the, the, the internet people. I'm talking about talking to Jesus. I said, I said, I said, your prayer, you might have a prayer. You might have a standard line. I'm talking about you. If y'all don't hear me, somebody, y'all are going to at and y'all are going to Verizon. Y'all y'all will get that 15 and then go to 50. Then you'll get some zoom. I tell you what, thing, you get down on your knees praying, you better, you better, you better get, you better increase. Hello, somebody, you better pay more. You better, hello, somebody, all prayer to say You got that line where that thing be stopping and starting. You got that thing where you be falling asleep. You better, you better tap off into the fervent prayer of a writer. You better hook up, sir. You better believe God and become righteous where you can have a y'all on heaven. You want to stop and start. You want to fall asleep but they get deep. You want the devil to start mesmerizing you so you, hello somebody. I come to name you, hello somebody. I heard you, I come that they, what you said, uh, that they may have life and that they may have it more abundant. I come with the real speed. I ain't talking about fiber cable coming through. I'm talking about what you said. I'm talking, what you, I'm talking about a direct connection. What you said, I ain't talking about all them in between connections. Hello, somebody. I'm talking about right to the fathers, huh? I'm talking about going directly, hello, somebody. Whatever you ask in my name, hello, somebody. You can ask in your name, you get. <laughs> I'm just saying, hey, man. I think the father loves you, hello, somebody. I come to make you a fish of butter I ain't want to babysit you all day. Y'all could turn you into big brother. There'd be a bunch of big brothers around here doing what big brothers do. What you say? Uh, everybody wasn't Moses, but they were doing what Moses was doing, but the big brother was always there, head to head back. You might have a job answering the phone, and you might be pretty good at it, but there's always somebody listening in on your call. Hello, somebody. They were, I want to speak to the supervisor. Get big sister, big brother on the phone. Somebody that can make decisions. Don't act like you don't understand God. Hello, somebody. Get somebody that can make decisions. You got them prayers going up. And them prayers, you got a situation that you need to hello somebody. You better call the supervisor. You better get the preacher on. Uh, yeah, hello, hello, somebody. You got sick. I heard him walking around here. Now, y'all know y'all at the wrong place to give somebody a talent off. You know I don't play that mess. Hello, somebody. The Bible said, amen, if there's any sick amongst you, let them, you got, we live by faith and not by sight. Y'all better stop sticking everything in your mouth and start having hands laid on you. Pray for me. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. If you, your faith fail you and you ain't, and you know what the truth is, go for some more prayer. If you get home and adopt it, you give talent off. If, if, you, if, if your faith fail you ain't got no, you going back to, when they need something better than, You go, you go to the same emergency room. I fall out of the temperature and go to the same door. You still go. Uh, we better get back. We done, we done messed around and got a few jobs now and got insurance. We done messed around and got some Medicare and Medi uh, what else? Medicare and Medicare. Medicaid, amen? And we done got, we done got up with it. 
We done, got, we done forgot God and what God brought us from. Hello, sir. We get a migraine and we start taking stuff and now our feet swell. Hello, somebody. Amen. Uh, we can't take everything because we got this and we got that. Hello, somebody. You get rid of this, that, and everything else that we live by. Huh? You better, you better come on back to the old land, Mom. Hello, somebody. Well, we got power over surplus. You know, uh, hello, I'm just saying, I ain't hating no nobody. I'm just telling you what does say the Lord. Hello, somebody. Amen. I, I, I live by faith and not by sight. Hello, somebody. I'm even easy my head out the line of mouth, but I ain't trying to have no faith in that line. Now, hello, somebody. I know he upset. I know he angry. I know he mad. Now, hello, somebody. And if you start to get mad, what you say? Uh, it's all right to read. He said, and all these blessings, look at somebody, turn around and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, you, 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 uh, turn around and tell, you, tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, your, your, your blessing is at the door. God got a blessing with your name on Your blessing is at the door. I know the devil fighting against you. I, I know he wants you to act a fool. He, 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 he wants you to miss your blessing. Hello, somebody. Amen. I thank the Lord. Amen. Some of y'all wrestle. And some of y'all women, they're the most of the And some of these women drive their husbands in the hands of other men. Huh? Other women. He said other women. I bet I, I mean, the Lord must be saying other men. So I'm sure going to get to watch you all night at this post. I tell you what, what other man you drive me in, don't drive to this man, though. No. <laughs> uh, not that she wants a real problem. Don't come to my door, because I don't care what the Lord of the land said, you're going to be trouble. Hello, somebody. I thank the Lord. Amen. Get God to pray. Huh? I'm going to be saying, hello, somebody. Amen. Huh? See, a lot of people have problems because they don't have no faith. Huh? I, 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 you know, right after the elder boy come and line all the young people up, Cecil came in. Amen. And Cecil came in, and I know Cecil laid hands on the joke and he'd get to speak in the tongue time he put his hand on it. See what I'm saying? I just not know that. Amen. But not only that, Cecil come in and began to pray for different people. And, and he, didn't, he didn't know nobody. That's the good thing about it, amen? But he prayed for everybody. Now, some of them he didn't even pray for. He said, you don't need prayer. He said, put your hand on this person over here. Said it's my husband. Because God has a problem with your mentality. See what I'm saying? You, you let the devil, the devil play with you. You, you let the devil cause you to act like a fool. And up in the outside of God, and God ain't going to have it. You know what I mean? What God has for me is for me. What God gives me is mine. Ain't nothing yours if you don't believe you got it. You can't must pray. You don't even come to God praying about nothing if you don't believe you have it. When you ask it, amen? That's God. And not, 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 not God, you know, God, God speaks in mysterious. God works in a mysterious way. But if God tell me some mess like that, uh, I done been going through things and people that come in and they, they know me and they know nothing about I'm going through that. And they speak a word and I say, thank you, Jesus. Ooh, oh, and I heard that, Lord. If I didn't hear nothing else in the whole sermon, I, I don't even know what the sermon title was. I really don't even care what the sermon title was. I know what I... There was somebody. Amen. But I ain't gonna let the devil steal my joy. Huh? Because this, this is what he said. He said, all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if, turn right to your neighbor, say, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Huh? Oh, praise be to God. We, can, we might well carry it on. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But if, well, no, but 
but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken. Oh, uh, you don't have you can, you, you, you can be stout hearted. You can be proud, you can be uplifted, you can be mad, you can be tight. But I got I got a word for you from God. But if but it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and do all his commandments that you have little one for another. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. No, no, which I beg you to do this day. It ain't like that. Which I command you. Which I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Huh? Huh? I've been blessed to God and tell us about now, now curse is, a, is an unusual thing. Mm -hmm. See, a curse is a, when you curse, you can't prosper. Right. The devil is cursed. When you curse, you put under his power. So you hearken under the devil, and the devil man, you're gonna be mad. Because you curse. Amen. And you curse because you close your ears to the word of God because you cannot, it's impossible to please God other by faith. And because you don't hearken unto the word of God and don't hear the word of God, amen, that the God of this world has convinced you and done your hearing, now you have enjoyed yourself with, with his curse. You know, and, and curse is a unique word because it means uh, evil or harm or something like that. But curse also means profane language. You know somebody. You can be around somebody that's using profane language and they're casting curse. Tell us about it. You you could you could you could be in church and people don't ever talk to you. And you can call you come all the way into your house and tell you something about one of the members of the pastor or something. Uh, I, 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 when we go on Nebraska over there, hey amen, we was having a 30 day revival. Uh, one of the pastors, he uh, he had a he had a uh, we were having revival different church. I'd been to this church having a revival. A young guy came down for, from deeper life, a minister, and he bought some stuff at the at the thrift shop, the uh, consignment shop we had, and talked to him, gave him some counsel. He liked the counsel, you know what I mean. Told him some things God said, so he went and join this other church. During the revival, his pastor was out there. They were supposed to be all right with him. He saw that the guy already knew me, and Satan told him we were going to steal his member. I heard Satan tell him. That's what it is when you're in the spirit. You already know what's going on. And, and, and so I'm saying, Lord, and you can see his calendar this fall. It was on from then on. You, you understand what I'm saying? It, 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 it was on to the point that they would start becoming a curse for them. You understand what I'm saying? They done went through all kind of death and all kind of stuff now. You see what I'm saying? Because of that failure to hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Amen? Now, the guy could have came and joined our church from the start. I wasn't trying to get him there. Then, before he even met his other pastor. You understand what I'm saying? But when you don't hearken unto God, you don't hearken unto the truth, you quit to hear a lie. Hello, somebody. Amen. And lies change. Amen. And if you ain't just firm about the truth, it say, say, say like this, it, 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 if you go for one thing, you go for anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? It don't take but a little bit of leverage to leverage the whole load. Right. Hey, amen. A lot of folks be talking to me, telling me about things that I hear, and as far as they're concerned, that I'm right down with them. But I also heard God, and I heard God supersede. And they're working, they're working what they call with me. But they have an agenda from the devil, and God has allowed it for a reason. 
My reasoning, when I'm traveling with you, my reasoning is the, is the sure things for my master. Amen? So don't get it bent that I'm your collaborator. I am born again. I'm already saved, sanctified, full of the Holy Ghost. My, my, my soul is already in heaven. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't deceiving the Spirit of God. Amen? You ain't deceiving the Spirit of God. Now, you may fool me, but the Spirit of God, you ain't fooling. And when I become, when God gave me His Spirit, as soon as you fool with God, I say, you ain't done that in truth. And God start bringing all kind of strips and start bringing the knowledge of this universe. And I be sitting right there smiling. <laughs> Except so right you ain't want to use it for bait. <laughs> you don't want no part of it, amen. Church, we're at the point of a tremendous breakthrough. There's a great transition happening. You may or may not see it. And you are at the point have to make up your mind within the next few days. See, 50 days after Easter is Pentecost. And by the time Pentecost comes, you better be ready for a holy convocation. Because if God sees you in the midst of his people without a robe on, he's going to take you out. And I, I wouldn't be a prophet of God if I didn't warn you. Amen. Get your house in order, remember, remember. Get your house in order, remember, remember. Get your house in order, remember, remember. Remember where the Lord brought you from. Oh, get your house in order, remember, remember. Get your house in order, remember, remember. Get your house in order, remember, remember, remember where the Lord brought you some. Oh, some could say he brought me from the dope house. Oh, some could say he brought me from the dope house. Oh, some could say he brought me from the dope house. You better remember where the Lord brought you from. Oh, some could say he brought me from the Jew joint. Oh, some could say he brought me from the Jew joint. Oh, some could say he brought me from the Jew joint. You better remember where the Lord brought you from. Oh, some could say he brought me from the sick room. Oh, some could say he brought me from the sick room. Oh,
Don't let Satan confine you to the point that you can't talk to nobody. You can't look at nobody. You can't live life to the fullest. Don't let Satan through anybody you know confine you if God has freed you. Because God won't, don't work that way. Amen. God will tell you to confess out of your mouth the Lord Jesus. Tell the truth. Become one in your household. Become one in your marriage. Become one. Amen. He will not confine you. That is Satan. Know the difference between God and Satan. Amen. Know the difference between a blessing and a curse. Amen. Know when you are submitting yourself unto the devil. And know when you are submitting yourself unto God. God has brought me from a mighty long way. And in this transition period, I have come to know the Lord in the pardon of my sin a lot better than I knew him from the start. Amen. And I know that God does not work by confining me. The Bible said, now listen to this, because this is God talking. The Bible said where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. God will never bind you to the point that you can't talk, you can't move, you can't do anything. If you got to do all of that to please the devil, then that's exactly what you're doing, trying to please the devil. But I want to tell you something about pleasing the devil. You will never have enough wood to put on a fire. Hello, and my name is Apostle Ogilvy Lockett, Pastor of Resurrection Temple House of Prayer. I want to break into our service just to give you an opportunity to get your life right with God. The Bible says, if you will confess out of your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I'd like to give you an opportunity right now to join me in prayer. And if you'll pray this prayer from the depths of your heart, sincerely, believing and trusting the Lord, I know everything will work out for you. Let us pray this prayer. Let us say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, I confess out of my own mouth of my own free will that I'm a sinner. And I ask you, Holy Father, to have mercy upon me. Forgive me a sinner. Father, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he was crucified, dead and buried for the forgiveness of my sin. I believe that on the third day God raised him from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sat on the right hand side of God the Father. And with this, he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart and live. Come into my life and live. Lord, come into my home and live. Lord, I know by praying this prayer, by trusting and believing in you, they're going to talk about me. They talked about you. But even so, Lord Jesus, come. In the name of Jesus, let it so be. Amen. 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 Amen.